early matter He will be starting soon Oh, oh, oh. Story time with Mr. Lamada Where all your dreams come true Oh, oh, oh. He brings to life your favorite stories With a great big smile You won't leave lonely Won't you start all the reading I just can't wait to be hearing Story time with Mr. Lamada He will be starting soon Oh Story time with Mr. Lamada Where all your dreams come true Oh He brings to life your favorite stories with a great big smile You won't leave lonely, won't you start all the reading I just can't wait to be here Good morning, good morning and welcome to Storytime Thank you for joining me, yes indeed Happy Monday, everybody. Thank you for being here and welcome to Storytime. Thank you indeed for being here with us. I am glad we are here together. Another week of stories awaits. Another fun series awaits us this week. Thank you so much for joining in. Brand new books this entire week. So please, please do, um, do join in for them. And I hope that indeed you do find the time to join us and get to enjoy all those lovely books that we have for you all brand new to story time and some of them actually brand new coming in from Candlewick Press and of course uh, Chronicle Books of San Francisco as well. Thank you so much for joining us today. I am glad that we are here and as you can see today I'm spotting on my Zambia soccer jersey getting excited. The women's draw was made for the World Cup coming up uh, in July 2023 and so that's happening and good luck to all the teams that will be there and of course a big good luck to the Zambia National Soccer Team, Zambia National Women's Soccer Team, and of course the US team as well. So good luck to everybody that will be going there, but especially um, the Zambian team uh, at heart for sure. Thank you so much for joining in and glad that you're here with me on Storytime. And today too is Zambia's Independence Day. So uh, big um Congratulations, Zambia turns 58 today, October 24th. Thank you so much for joining us. And please join me in just wishing all the Zambians out there um, a happy independence and, of course, um, continued growth and prosperity. Thank you so much for joining in. And may we be continue to be blessed with leaders that um, are there for the people and uh, wanting to do the very best for the citizens. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. Absolutely glad you're here with us. And thank you. Thank you indeed. Today we do have a wonderful story and this one um oh i can resonate so much have you ever been nervous about something well today we're reading nervous nigel this one written and illustrated by bethany christu and uh it is um being read with permission of the publishers templar books an imprint of candlewick press thank you so much for being here i hope that you enjoy this one and uh, it is a beautiful story heartwarming story and one indeed that will encourage us so to find that carriage inside that inner carriage thank you so much for being here with us on story time please as always let us know where you're joining in from and let us know who is joining in with you if anybody is with you anybody else is with you thank you for being here a wonderful week of books of reading awaits us but of course special mention to Today, this week, we're mentioning Billy Dipper's Time to Shine. This one from my good friend Olaolu Ogunyemi and Joshua Ogunyemi. Um, yes, if you've not seen it, please do check out uh, uh, Olaolu Ogunyemi, reading it right here on Storytime and having a conversation about it, but also find it at your local library and find it where you find books. Another book of encouragement and indeed one about finding that inner strength. Thank you so much for being here. I am glad that you are here with us. Out here in Oakland, nice today. 46 right now. They did say there was a, um, a, a, um, 
a frost advisory for the, for last night, but um, just barely. And so I hope that uh, not uh, people's plants are still okay and that uh, people are okay. I know that you know we have friends who are unhoused and um, yes, uh, uh, difficulties in in keeping warm. And um, I hope that indeed we find better solutions to that. Thank you so much for joining in story time. Absolutely appreciate you all. And I am glad that we are here together. Happy Independence Day, Zambia, one more time. Thank you for joining us on story time. Good morning to you. How are you doing? Amanda, where's Sarah and Nathan out in Chile, North Carolina, where we're watching from the beach. Oh my goodness, that sounds so fun. Thank you so much for joining in. Story time and beach waves, a perfect combination. Oh my goodness, sounds wonderful indeed. Thank you so much for sharing in and uh, maybe I should be reading from the beach one of these days too. <laughs> Have fun. Enjoy it. Thank you for being here. I am so glad that you're here with us. And you know what? We will be kind of around water to today with this book. Never, never, nervous Nigel. This one coming to you from Bethany Christu and of course Templar Books, an imprint of Candlewick Press. Join in. Enjoy the fun. Thank you so much for being here. As always, Nathan and Sarah, hugs to you. And of course, Amanda West, thank you so much for joining us. And I hope you are, it's, oh, it sounds like you are having fun out there in North Carolina. Thank you so much for joining us. Happy Independence Day, Zambia. Good morning from Soraya. Well, thank you so much, sweetheart. How are you doing? I saw that the Tooth Fairy has been given some teeth. Well, love it, love it, love it. I hope that you got some good money too. Thank you so much for joining in. I am glad that you are here with us, Soraya, and I hope that you have a wonderful day today. Oh, yes, yes, Soraya made five whole dollars off of the Tooth Fairy. Oh, my goodness. I know who's buying ice cream next time with me. Thank you so much for joining in, Soraya, and I am glad you are so rich today. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Good morning to you and to everybody else that is joining us later on for the recordings, sending you love, hugs, and I hope that you and your loved ones are doing well. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. Thank you for taking the time to be here with us on this, the 24th of October, 2022. Yes, Zambia's Independence Day. 58 years of independence. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. And like any other country, you know, still growing pains, learning, and uh, moving forward. Thank you so much for joining us on Storytime. <laughs> Good morning to you. You are perfectly fine, Braylon Chad. Thank you so much out in Nakitash, Louisiana. And of course, Pamela Courtney, sunny Monday out in Nakitash. Thank you for being here. You are on just the right time. Thank you so much for joining us on Storytime. Get ready, get comfortable, get cozy. Nervous Nigel coming up after this short break. This one from Bethany Christu and Templar Books, an imprint of Candlewick Press. Join me on the other side of this short break. Thank you so much for being here. So you see, Braylon and Chad, you are right on time. Thank you so much for joining in. <laughs> Join me on the other side of this very short message. Thank you indeed for being here, friend. Hi, everyone. My name is Amanda Davis. I am a children's book author, illustrator, and high school art educator. I am the author of 30,000 Stitches, the inspiring story of the National 9-11 flag, illustrated by Sally Warren Comport and published with Worthy Kids Hashtag Book Group. One thing that drew me to writing 30,000 Stitches was the idea that people from all different communities came out to stitch this flag and make it whole again. So I hope that when people read 30,000 Stitches, they remember the power of sharing our stories. When people came out to stitch the flag, they shared their stories, whether about loss or pain or love. We all have stories to tell. And by sharing our stories and listening to one another's stories, we can create a better understanding of each other and create a sense of connection and unity. And this is what creates a more inclusive world. I hope you enjoy your story time with Mr. LaMada. Bye, everybody. Oh, welcome back, everybody. Thank you so much, Amanda Davies. A more inclusive world. I'm going to ask for anything better. Thank you so much for joining. And of course, if you've not checked out 30,000 Stitches, please do. It is a wonderful book of courage, encouragement, and healing. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime today. Absolutely appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, indeed. 
Thank you, Pamela Courtney. You say we will have to research and read about Independence Day. Is there a book for kids on this topic? Well, I would definitely look into books, especially for kids. But um, for you, Pamela Courtney, I have one just for you. Try reading this one. This one is called Zambia, The First 50 Years. It is written by Andrew Sadanis. It is indeed a powerful book uh, if you want to learn more about Zambia. But I will look into books for kids. I know that we had lots of textbooks growing up and different things that we used. But um, I actually never thought about um, whether we do have um, children's books that talk about independence in picture book form. Um, but yeah, great question, Pamela Courtney. Now you're giving me a research topic. <laughs> Maybe I should write one. Thank you so much for joining in. All right, here we go. Nervous Nigel coming up. This one from Bethany Christou, written and illustrated by Bethany Christou and uh, reading it with permission of Templar Books, an imprint of Candlewick Press. I must say again, a big thank you to Candlewick Press for allowing us to read and share these wonderful books here on Storytime. Thank you indeed. And there's many, many more to come from Candlewick that we have here on Storytime. And of course, many others that we've read here on Storytime. Thank you indeed for joining in. Here we go. Nervous Nigel. This one is written and illustrated by Bethany Christo. And we're reading it with permission of Templar Books, an imprint of Candlewick Press. Ah, are you ready? <laughs> Nigel came from a long line of greats. Oh my goodness. Look at Ralph, Barney, Summer, and Mom. Yes. A long line of greats indeed. <laughs> oh. Nigel came from a long line of greats. Every crocodile in his family was a champion. Nigel's mom was the fastest swimmer in crocodile history. How about that? His sister, Summer, could win marathons with her eyes shut. Yes, she is that good. <laughs> Nigel's other sister, Barney, was the first crocodile to get a perfect diving score. Oh, my goodness. And his brother, Ralph, was captain of the water polo team. Oh, my goodness. No pressure, Nigel. No pressure. <laughs> Oh. Nigel's family wanted him to be a champion swimmer. And Nigel did love swimming. He did. The water was his favorite place to float and think. What's your favorite place to float and think? <laughs> Oh, I must say, yes, indeed. Blessed Masongangoma. How are you doing, my brother? Thank you so much for joining in. Happy Independence Day to you. <laughs> the water was his favorite place to float and think. What's your favorite place to float and think? <laughs> but as soon as Nigel started training, being in the water didn't seem anymore any like didn't seem like fun anymore Aww. once the whistle blew his heart started thumping when the shouting got louder his teeth started chattering but yeah how do you think nigel was feeling everybody was yelling go 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 faster 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 as his mom shouted his tail started trembling but he couldn't tell his mom how he felt. So he always said, that was a lovely swim. Even though it wasn't. Aww. Then one day his family told him they had entered him into his first competition. Nigel began to panic. I, but it's just, look, we made you t-shirts and this banner. 
and I've invited everyone we know. Go, Nigel, go. Oh my goodness. Poor Nigel. Oh. <laughs> His heart started thumping. His tail started trembling. His teeth started chattering. But he couldn't let his family know. So all he said was, great. That night, Niger couldn't sleep. His head was full of all sorts of terrible things that could happen. Oh my goodness. He worried about disappointing his family, about thinking about feelings of being terrible from that disappointment. Oh my. That night, Nigel couldn't sleep. His head was full of all the terrible things that could happen. Oh, poor Nigel. Nigel decided that he had to get out of the competition. Don't be silly, come inside. <laughs> but no matter what he tried, nothing worked. And he tried a lot, a lot of things. Oh, have you drawn spots on yourself? He tried to draw spots on himself, pretend to be sick. Why are you changing the date for the race? He tried to change the date for the race. Oh, poor Nigel. But nothing seemed to work. No matter how much he tried, and he tried a lot of things, nothing seemed to work. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there was only one thing left to do, and that was to tell the truth. Nigel had to let his family know how he felt. Heart thumping, tail trembling, teeth chattering, Nigel approached the kitchen door. Oh, would Nigel be able to do it? How would his family react? Oh my, what do you think? Yeah, can you feel for Nigel? Yeah, me too, I certainly do. Heart thumping, tail trembling, teeth chattering, Nigel approached the kitchen door. There was only one thing left to do, and that was to tell the truth. Nigel had to let his family know how he felt. Oh, good for you, Nigel. All the best. He asked, what would you think if a crocodile didn't want to be a champion? His family was bewildered. What? What are you talking about? What else would they do? Don't worry, that's never happened before. Nigel's mom and brother and sisters did their best to reassure him. You will be amazing tomorrow. You will smash it. Go, Nigel, you've got this. But nothing made him feel better. And soon Nigel wished he hadn't said anything at all. Want to do a practice race with me? Just relax and have fun. No. Oh, are they really listening to Nigel? Oh. Hmm. The day of the competition arrived. Are you excited, Nigel? Yeah. Keep your eyes on the prize. And even though he tried to hide it, Nigel was shaking with nervousness. Oh my goodness. With every step on the diving board, Nigel's worry grew and grew. His tail was trembling. His heart was thumping. His teeth were chattering. Oh my goodness. I could hear his heart beat all the way out here. Dun, dun, dun. His tail was trembling. His teeth were chattering. Yes. With every step on the diving board, 
Nigel's worry grew and grew. And everyone was calling out, Roderick, Dana, go Dana, good luck Lily. Everyone was there, go Nigel, go. Finally, Nigel couldn't hide it any longer. He was too nervous to race. Nigel was too nervous to race. Nigel's family rushed over to him. Nigel was certain that he had disappointed them. Aww. Nigel, he ran off before they could say anything else. Aww. Nigel ran off before they could say anything else. Farther down the river, Nigel did his best to forget what had happened. Floating usually helped him feel calm, but today he just felt lost. Aww. Then, just then, he heard a little voice. Excuse me. Who was it? What were they looking for? What did they want? Yes, floating usually helped him feel calm, but today he just felt lost. Then, then he heard a little voice. Excuse me. Who was the little voice? What were they going to say? It was a frog. She asked Nigel to give her a ride across the water. I've been training all day and now I'm too tired to swim. Nigel was only too pleased to help. Of course, hop on, he said. The frog thought Nigel looked sad, so she asked him what the problem was. Nigel told her. I'm not sure there's anything I'm good at. But the frog didn't agree. Nonsense! That was a lovely journey. Any other crocodile would have gone much too fast. And that gave Nigel a brilliant idea. What do you think it was? Ah, huh. what could it be? Nonsense! That! was a lovely journey. Any other crocodile would have gone much too fast. And that gave Nigel a brilliant idea. Oh my goodness. What could it be? Whoa. Nigel's floating fairy and scenic tours. Oh my, I love that. I want to visit that. Nigel's floating ferry and scenic tours was a great success. Nigel didn't need to rush or race, and he didn't have to worry or lose sleep. Now he could float and think all oh, he liked. Oh. And it seemed that lots of other animals liked to do the same. Oh. <laughs> Yay, now he could float and think, oh, he liked. And it seemed that lots of other animals liked to do the same. <laughs> oh, look at that happy face. <laughs> Nigel wasn't winning any medals, but he was doing something he loved. Oh, we're sorry we didn't listen to you, Nigel, his family told him. We just want you to be happy. And for him, that was enough. We're so proud of you. Go, Nigel. <laughs> Nigel wasn't winning any medals, but he was doing something he loved. And that, for him, was enough. Oh. <laughs> that indeed for him was enough thank you so much for joining in story time today that was our story for today nervous nigel thank you for being here with us on story time join me on the other side of this short break when we come back for more story time <laughs> Hi, I'm Pat Seatlow Miller, and I write picture books for readers of all ages. 
and you are watching Storytime with Mr. LaMotta. Happy reading. Happy reading indeed. Thank you, Pat Zitlow Miller. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime, everybody. I am glad that we were here together on this, the 24th day of October, Zambia's Independence Day. Thank you for joining in. Thank you for celebrating with me and, of course, the rest of the Zambian people. Thank you so much for being here with us. And, of course, we did enjoy a wonderful story. Nervous Nigel, this one coming to you from Bethany Christu. And uh, we were reading with uh, permission of... Uh, Templar Books, an imprint of Candlewick Press. Thank you so much for joining in today. I am glad that you were here with me. Absolutely appreciate you. And I hope that indeed you do have a lovely, lovely rest of your day. This week, we continue to look at books that um just promote us, you know, promote reflection and looking into ourselves and finding that inner strength, empathy, and um, yes, that help us build so much. As you can see too from this week, we have books of empathy, acceptance, being there for others, and most importantly, being there for ourselves. And we lean on the supports that we have, but also we find the strength within. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime, and I hope you join me for all those wonderful books that will be coming up with great lessons for us, great enjoyment for us. Yes, come down the journey. Today we were out with Nigel. Tomorrow we are back, and we will be reading The Boy with Flowers in His Hair. This one coming to you from Jarvis, and we'll be reading it with permission of Candlewick press. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime and I hope indeed that you do join us tomorrow and the day after and the day after that and many more days to come here on Storytime. And remember too that you can find Storytime live right here 7 a.m. Pacific time as well as uh, 11 a.m. for the recording of the 7 a.m. Pacific time. And of course, um, you can also join us at storytimewithmrlimada.com at your convenience. Thank you so much for being here with us on Storytime. We're reading Nervous Nigel. And today, our special mention is a book from a dear friend. And this one is called uh, uh, Billy Dipper's Time to Shine. And this one comes to you from Olaolu Ogunyemi. Please find it at your local library. Find it where you find books. Thank you so much for being here with us. Let us see one more time who was with us here this morning enjoying a wonderful story. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Blessed Ngoma. Thank you for joining us out in Vermont. Thank you for being here with us. Happy Independence Day to you. Happy Zambia Independence Day to you, my brother. Thank you so much for joining us on Storytime and wishing you the very best out there in Vermont. Hopefully not too, too cold. Thank you so much for joining in. <laughs> Pamela Courtney, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. You've given me homework here and uh, yes, got it. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. Absolutely appreciate you. Braylon and Chad, thank you so much for joining in. And Soraya, thank you as well for joining in. And I am glad that the Tooth Fairy left you some door. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. Absolutely appreciate you. And thank you. Thank you indeed, Soraya. Happy Independence Day, Zambia indeed. Thank you so much for joining us. And I am glad that we are here together. Have yourselves a wonderful Monday. Thank you for being here on Storytime. Hugs, hugs, hugs to each and every one of you. And I hope indeed that you do have the best, the very best of days today. And this one coming to you tomorrow, the boy with flowers in his hair. This one will be coming to you from Jarvis and we will be reading it with permission of Candlewick Press. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. Absolutely appreciate you. And two, like just thinking too, as we're reading about Nigel, I hope that we continue as adults, we continue to create spaces that allow our little ones to be themselves. And of course, to our little ones, I encourage you, if you feel certain ways about certain things that you may be asked to do, please, please speak up, speak up. And, um, and as you can see, Nigel was nervous, thinking his family would be disappointed. But if you speak up, say, say the truth then we will know, or people will know how best they can help. And, um, and, and also just, yes, at least you would have spoken out and we know what you, what you need. So thank you so much for joining in. And I hope that 
you know, we continue to create environments that encourage listening to others, really listening, really listening, not just uh, uh, hearing what they're saying, but not taking it in. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime today. Absolutely appreciate each and every one of you. May we encourage our little ones' dreams, but also listen to what they are saying, to what they want, to what they need. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime today. Absolutely appreciate you. Nervous Nigel. Yes, and I'm so glad that he found what was perfect for him. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. Absolutely appreciate you. And please do not let the pressures of your family put you down. Find your own path. Create your own path. And I hope that there's encouragement to do that around you. Thank you for being here, kids. Thank you for being here, everybody. This has been Storytime for this Monday morning. This has been Storytime on this, the 24th day of October, Zambia's Independence Day. Thank you so much for joining in. Wishing everybody in Zambia a uh, happy, happy independence. Yes, Ubuntu ngwa tualipoka. Thank you so much for joining in and uh, may we continue to grow each other, to encourage each other, to support each other. Don't pull others down. Support, as the saying goes, keep clapping for your friends until it is your time. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. Absolutely appreciate you. Continue to pray for peace and love out there in Mother Zambia. Thank you so much for joining in, everybody. I hope that you have a a lovely, lovely day indeed. This has been Story Time. I'll see you again tomorrow for more Story Time. Much love and bye bye. <laughs>